Hey guys, Brandon Wiss here for trading and I'm here to talk to you guys about splitting axes. So if you haven't liked, followed, subscribed, all of those things, please go ahead and do that. And we're going to get looking at what we have for splitting axes available in the council tool line. So first and foremost, and our most popular splitter is the five pound on the 36 inch handle. This five pounder has chamfered corners uh, on the pole and is able to be used to strike plastic wedges. So it's kind of a multi-purpose ax. It's got a pretty decent wedge pattern. So it has it is very thick in the cheeks, which will help pop that wood apart. apart. Uh, this comes on a 36 and a 28 inch handle. The 28 is more popular amongst timber fallers and folks who are uh, banging wedges, but the uh, it's kind of a multi-purpose head. So you can go ahead and use it at the splitting pile and split wood. We're gonna go up a size. These are five pounds. And the next size is a, 30, a, a six pound on a 36. This also comes on a 32 inch handle. Now this is a fire ax, forcible entry six pound. These slots are made to marry with a Halligan bar, which is a multi-purpose uh, forced, forcible entry tool to get into houses. But this again has a very thick pattern, right? Where it has uh, a thick design and the cheeks are very large. Up against the five pounder, because a lot of folks have asked kind of like, what's the what's the profile difference? What is what is the comparison? So that's the that's how it looks. We've got the back of the pole. They're about the same size. The six pound might be a little bit thicker. They're both hung on full size handles, full size eyes, and the pole is weighted off the back more than a traditional ax. So you've got a, a very good balance, right? So it's not bit heavy or blade heavy which causes you to have blade drop when you're swinging it as a hammer where that blade is heavy and it's trying to steer that ax down. So both of those are the big splitters in our lineup. We have uh, three different three and a half pound splitters. So if you're, if you're not comfortable swinging something that's five, six pounds, you can go jump down to the Jersey pattern, which has got a thinner profile this is where you're getting the weight in the in the bigger axis is in the cheeks but big bit this is a 36 inch curved handle we have a 36 inch straight handle same head different handle uh and the straight handle is obviously a little bit nicer for splitting for folks who like a straight handle but we do offer it on a curve which makes it a good multi-purpose you know splitting felling axe then Last and certainly not least is the classic three and a half pound jersey. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's got a little bit more involvement in the manufacturing side of it. It does have bevels. You can see them here in the cheeks. Traditionally, those would be so that there's less steel holding uh, inside the wood. Little relief bevels, I guess. This comes only on a 32 inch handle. We don't offer these on the 36 straight or curved. So if you're looking for something that is kind of like an all around homestead property axe that you're wanting to fell trees with, do some brush work with, and then as well as splitting some firewood, this is a great option. So same shape overall as the, the regular jersey, but this one's got bevels. So all three of these are hung, uh, or all six of these are hung with a poplar wedge and a steel barrel wedge. Now the only one that is not hung proud, which means it sticks above the handle, is the forcible entry six axe. Now I'll go into more detail in more videos about this, but this one's hung flush. You can see it's hung flush, it's trimmed off. And inside this axe eye, which you can't see obviously, is machined. So that handle is actually flaring out inside the eye of the axe instead of it protruding out the top and then flaring out. So just a little bit of extra holding strength in there because this axe, in a traditional sense with firemen is sometimes used kind of like a battling ram to bust down doors like that. And if you did that too much, you would booger up the top and cause the head to come loose. So all six of those are available on whiskeyrivertrading.com. The large leather mask fits them and our universal high density plastic mask, which is a great option if you're in a very uh, humid climate or the ax is going to be in an environment that is wet. You can use a high-density plastic one so it doesn't hold the moisture and rust the head out. So that's what we've got. That's our lineup. And uh, check us out, whiskeyrivertrain.com. Be good, guys.